To explain the relationship between voltage and current, explain the relationship or explain the uh, the two circuit in terms of current, keeping the R same. Can you gonna keep that? Gary, can I work with you? Keep the R same. I'm getting my Okay. What do you think uh, about this one? Oh, uh, me, I think it, uh, it, it satisfies Ohm's law because the R... Forget about Ohm's law. Pretend like you don't even know Ohm's law. What does this tell you? This relationship tells you? Um, does it tell us that V, v is the, proportional to I? It tells you. V goes up, I goes up. I goes up. Oh. All right. It also tells you the slope, right? Yeah. It does tells you the slope, right? It tells the slope is one over r. Uh, so delta i over delta v. Delta v is equal to what is it? The slope? One over r. One over r because v over i is r. So um, oh. uh, the inverse of that should be the inverse of r. So this is true for what type of materials? Uh, metals, maybe. Well. Ohmic. What is it? Ohmic. Ohmic. I wonder if it's an actual word or you just mm. make that up. I sometimes make it up. If this is ohmic, what does this uh, this relation tells you? Non-ohmic? It's non-ohmic. Non mm. Can you give me can you give me something, an example of ohmic? Uh copper? An example of uh, ohmic could be a, a, a circuit that may uh, that made of uh, copper metal, metal versus copper. Copper or zinc or uh, aluminum or uh, <coughs> non-ohmic. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's it's the things that 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 made out of uh, semi semiconductor. semiconductor. So this or is conductor. Non-metals, right? Non-metals on the back of the staircase, always hiding their shady ways. That's right, and this is semiconductor. Semi oh, no. conductor. conductor. Which is a diode. I think diodes are like diode so. is a semiconductor. So what is the example of diode? For example, uh silicon? Silly. Silicon? Or carbon or <laughs> boron or, or argon right. or potassium. Alright, now Okay, okay, calm down. Calm down now, now this doesn't not ohmic, this doesn't. Okay, this one doesn't Gary. obey the ohms law. Uh, this one do not obey the ohms law. It's <laughs> but this one does obey the Ohm's law. So the conductor made out of metals obey the Ohm's law. Oh. So we should not even call it Ohm's law. We should call a description or an information or a relation. But since we are used to calling it Ohm's law, we're not going to change. I mean, it's the law discovered by a person named Oh, so yeah, that's true. That that's that's true. But when do we call something law? When it's always true. When it's true for everything. For example, Newton's first law, second law, third law. Yeah, laws of motion. But oh. this law oh. seems like oh. fails for for so it should, should things that made of semiconductor. Right. But we do we still so call it. We Oh, is germanium also non-ohmic? I heard it's a non-metal. Yes, anything that's non-metal is non-ohmic. All right, let's go over here. I think you can make a conductor out of. But right, we're gonna keep calling it Ohm's law. Why do we gonna keep calling it Ohm's law? It's we because are used to it. we get we are used to it. But it should in reality be called Ohm's theory, right? No, we're gonna call it Ohm's relation. Oh. It's, it's less less prestigious than theory. Okay, theory is like when it, when it's almost like a law, then we call it theory. Almost like a law. Oh. Okay, then we call it theory. Okay, now let's get to number two. What does this tell you in terms of current? Um, if this current is I, what about this one? 2I. 2I. So now voltage and current, then you see a relation. Right. What 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 this relation is? Well, V equal I R. This relation oh. is voltage v is proportional to R. proportional to, to copper to the I, and 
Current is proportional to the voltage. Mm -hmm. Voltage. All right. But isn't that not necessarily true because we could also go up on our own up. Oh, good. That takes us to the R. Oh. Fantastic. I R. Very good. R G over I. Very good. Because true, V is a kind of inversely proportional. Very good. That takes us to the R. Another corrected. So far, we've seen two corrected. One wow. is current and one is voltage. Now you are. And they were both made by me, Isaac. Oh yeah, sure. And we are now. None. Uh -huh. not doing okay, so now we're gonna get to see another character, and that is the R. Stop getting my name wrong. Alright, so it's lesson, guys. Pay attention. Alright, so we're gonna start our lesson with very simple thing, and that is um like two pipe. Short pipe can carry Ew. can carry what? Water. Pipe can carry what? Water. Very dirty water. water. The length and the area of this pipe are the same. Same. Hmm. All right. So what are the difference between these three pipes? So they are the pipe. Orientation. 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 Yeah. That means this is level. This is zero degree with respect to the horizontal ground. This is like 15 degrees, I guess? 15 degrees, and this is? 30, 60. 60 degrees, okay, so we get the idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This can carry what? Water. This can carry the? Water. water. But so, the flow, flow is affected water. by gravity. Flow of water. But the flow is affected by gravity. Which one? Pipe number one, pipe number two, pipe number three. Which one will have greater flow of water, you think? I think pipe number three. Pipe number three will have greater Flow. flow of water. water is because why? What is the reason? Um, it has a greater orientation. Than Who the is water. the actor? Who is the actor behind the flow of the water? Who is responsible? Do you have to put a machine to carry the water? No. no. Okay, so who is the actor? Gravity. Gravity. So, so which one has more gravitational potential energy? Oh, three. This one has more gravitational potential energy because it's greater in height. And this one is no. zero. Basically none. Basically none. So the flow of water is almost zero. Zero. Flow of water is close to zero. Flow of water is far from zero. Far from zero. Why are we talking about gravitational potential energy? Because Okay, we are not interested of flow of water. We are interested of flow of electrons. electrons. But the flow of electrons is basically the same as flow of water. Because Good. It's flow of water. Really? Maybe there's like some tiny microscopic debris Good. stopping the water from flowing. So just what? like we learned that uh, the electrons have to overcome barriers uh, uh, like atoms trying out energy from voltage, the water has to encounter stone debris and then uh, dissolve it. Good. Good. So earlier we saw two rectangles, right? Yeah. And two rectangles we had three voltage and six voltage, voltage. with same resistor. And we have is that what is now? Yeah. No. We're going to make a connection between gravitational potential energy to electric potential energy. Potential energy. If you increase electric potential energy by double, that increases the current by double. Current by double. If you increase gravity, that increases the flow of water. water. All right. You see the connection? Oh. Do you see the connection? Yeah. If you increase the gravitational potential energy, that increases the flow of water. If you increase is the electric potential energy, that increases the flow of current. Flow of current. Why? Because 
it increases the flow of electron that carries the current charge, charge. Oh. now you may ask why the water slow down why the water slow down because you talk about a resistor you talk about ah oh yeah you talk about resistance you talk about a ah, new corrector now let's find an analogous to the resistance what would be the analogous to resistance over here uh, atoms. Not atoms. Is it stone? Do you have a stone in the pipe? What? Pine? Stone debris. Stone debris? Oh yeah, stone like debris. 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 So yeah, they try like to. I said before. They try to slow down what? The flow, the flow of water. Flow of water. So the water has to uh, dilute it and then overcome it. Excellent, excellent. You are doing much better than other day. You may. Other day. Yes, other day. Now, what slow down the electron? Because uh, electron carries charge. the charges. What slow down the electron in the wire? Is it atoms? Atoms. Finally, yes. Atoms try to slow down the electron. Electron carries current. So if electron slow down, then current slow down. There will be less current. Yeah. Now you see that. What is the resistant analogous to? Stone. Stone. And what is the stone analogous to? Resistance. Or atom. Man, can you say it in your own word or paraphrase it, what I said? So, resistance and current is analogous to the stone debris flowing in a water in a pipe. Very nice. Because both try to stop a certain thing from flowing and they have to dilute it or overcome it or something to get past it and keep flowing. Excellent! What is the word I said? Excellent. Excellent. Now, I mean, this math is excellent. Now, can you say that? What is, how do you say this statement? Current is proportional to voltage. Who observed that first? Sure. Who discovered that? Saturday. Ohms. Oh. Ohms. 